I'm gonna show you some beautiful math today. So a few days ago on stream, we worked on the Euclidean algorithm. Um, first, this is, uh, here's the list of the 12th, 23rd, 34th, and 45th primes. We found that in a previous stream. Uh, and we did that by prime sieving, the sieve of Eratosthenes. Uh, now, what we're going to talk about is the Euclidean algorithm. Um, this is a way to find the greatest common factor of two numbers. In grade school, we learn uh, this sort of stuff with these nice little rainbow diagrams, or you can list the multiplications, you know, eight is one and eight, two or four, two and four, and 28 is one and 28, two and 14, four and seven and then you just find the biggest number that's in common. But there's a fast recipe, an algorithm, to be able to find the GCF of two numbers that are much bigger. Because if you try to do that with, the, with larger numbers, it's, you're gonna get a headache, okay? So it's a thing called the Euclidean algorithm, and it gives you a recipe for how to find the GCF of two numbers in general. And this one only took three steps. This one ended up taking four steps. Um, and I promise you that this is so much faster if you use it with large numbers. Now, the really, really cool thing, part two, is that you can express that GCF of two numbers as a multiplication of the two numbers and an addition. So in general, we can find the GCF of two numbers and then express it as a combination of the two. For example, the prime, we know that 37 and 83 are prime numbers, so the GCF is gonna be one, okay? But did you know that one is nine times 37 minus four times 83? I bet you freaking didn't. Uh, and we can double check our math here and the two are different by one. How freaking cool is that? So uh, go watch the stream if you want to see some of this math or pause this short, rewatch it, pause this short, leave a comment below if uh, you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks. Bye.